Hello again fellas, it's me again, just another quick video today. In front of you you can see some old compact fluorescent lamps. They are 32 watt PLT lamps. And you know what happens with lamps that reach the end of the life on this channel? Yep, you guessed it. They get subject to the incorrect control gear. In this case, high pressure sodium gear. We'll start off with 70 watt. And if that doesn't do anything, we'll take it all the way up to 400 if we have to. Let's see what happens there, shall we? I've got one open, there's not much inside here. All the control gear is located inside the actual fitting. You can see the two lead wires coming off each filament at each end of the lamp. We'll just cut them and twist them together, I think. This is an example of where these lamps would be used. It's a recessed time lighter. The gearbox the visible at the bottom there would normally be hidden above the ceiling and you'd only be able to see that ring in the reflector. This one comes with an optional glass disc to try and sort of maybe direct some light back up at the ceiling so it's not too gloomy. seems quite happy doing that. Let's take it up to the next level. Time to take this to the next level. Right, the glass on these lamps is a bit thin so I place it inside an industrial low bay unit with safety glass so 150 watts on here on a 32 watt CFL 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, that's bright uh, ND filter going through that. It's only designed for 32. Surprised those electrodes aren't melting to be honest. How is that taking that? I'm getting bored now. Alright then, let's try 250 watt song here. Alright then, this is 250 watt song here. This has got a nuke here. Something smells out anyway. That's three amps going through there. Look, bloody hell is it taking that? Hey! Oh, is that it? 
Never mind. I have plenty more. I'm two. This is on 250 watt gear. That other one got very hot. Unfortunately, the electrode is on the other side of the lamp, so we can only see one going black. Well, the stem must have failed, and the action of the uh, rushing into the evacuated tube must have just simply blew the phosphor away. Lamp three. Final lamp. This one's already pissed off straight away. He's doing well though. Normal linear fluorescent tube, just the electrodes nuke straight away on this sort of gear, but obviously these smaller compacts are with the electrodes, well they're already blown because the lamps have failed, but the electrode stems must be quite thick. Interesting to note the colour shift. The colour temperature becomes cooler, that's obviously because the increased mercury pressure in there. It's no longer a low pressure discharge lamp, it's a medium. So it's definite mercury blue there, I can see. It takes about five minutes for these to cool down as well, they're all really hot. <laughs> Actually, I got 400 watt cave of this. Yeah, it started out as life. 400 degrees, oh sorry, 400 Kelvin. It's probably close to 6,500 now. My 400 watt gear. Ten more seconds, then I get the 400 watt gear out. Because I'm bored now. Alright, you've asked for it. 
Right, 400 watt gear, something smells awesome. Whew, it just stinks. 3, 2, 1. How is it taking 400 watt sodium gear? 4.6 amps. On a lamp designed for about 700 milliamps. I'm officially impressed now. Go. All right, time to vacate and ventilate. Oh, the smell of success. Thanks for watching. See you later. Slight bit of melting going on there.